Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we're still kind of constructing this mall here. Um, I've been looking at our map and because I updated uh, the Whistle Stop Factories mod, I think we need to push out a little bit further so that we can find some of these factories that are for the uh, chemical and oil stuff. So we want to do that today. Uh, also, I need to get some steel up and running to get uh, railroad tracks. So um, one of the things that's very important is to build this mall, which is going to supply us with all the little bits and pieces we need, like inserters and um, gears and belts and all kinds of things. So um, if you guys are worried about um, this turning into a main bus, there will be a main bus at the main factory because you can't construct every single thing in a factory. It's just, there's just not enough factories to produce. Well, I mean, look at all of these. Imagine if we had to have a factory for an inserter, another factory for long-handed inserters, another factory for fast inserters. I mean, we have total right now, one, two, three factories. So I'm going to use those for like intermediate products and then deliver them to a large factory area. So um, that's the plan here with the train station being there and then the factory possibly being down here. But I am going to do as much as possible in uh, in these factories and then the smelters, which are the, uh, the pink colored ones. So um, I am looking very much forward to this <clears throat> and uh, and hopefully we can get that sorted soon. So we do need four railroad tracks. We do know oh, we, we need more undergrounds, but we're going to need some stone and steel. I want to, well, gosh, we need at least one of these uh, smelting columns making steel. I might even kind of sneak it in up here because right now we're kind of at a standstill. We cannot make railroad tracks until we get that steel going on. I'm going to limit this to like two stacks instead of one because I have issues. <laughs> we have issues. Uh, okay. I think we can actually, um, hold on just one moment. There we go. Need to move the thing. Now then I would love to get rid of this and that please nanobots. And while they're doing that, I want to go and collect my blueprint for steel. Let's see. With stone smelters. Okay, there we go. Is that the right one? Oh, we need to go left? Yes. Aha. Left. Perfect. Oh, I need to remove these first. Sorry, nanobots. I didn't give you a chance to do your job. It's bad. Right. Um... Let's go back to that blueprint that we had we can delete this one because it's in our blueprint book. I am so excited for the changes that the Factorio devs have said that they want to make. It's going to be really thrilling, I think. Uh, okay, so we have things going on this way. I suppose what we could do, well, we need all the things. We need the nanobots, first of all absolutely need nanobots also i downloaded another mod called oh what is this how fascinating oh that's nice fnei looks like it's had some changes um it's a blueprint thingy majingy that um apparently lets you okay it didn't let me there's apparently a special button for this where you enable the blueprint mode and i'm gonna have to find out what that is because i didn't see it uh, listed on the um, the mod page, but maybe I missed it. That could be. Let me just put this, but basically it'll, it, um, allows you to more easily place things by hand. It's something like blueprint strict mode. Is that in here anywhere? Do I need to research that at all? Nothing looks weird or new or something. Is it just a recipe? Hmm. Maybe it's under mod settings. Let's go and see. Options, mod settings. Nanobots, whistle stop factories. Aha. This is my ghost. Please play toggle messages. Yeah, that would be nice. Um <laughs> okay. Let's see if it's under the controls mods. Aha. Maybe it's here. Control shift B. 
Right, blueprint only. All right, let's try that. Control Shift B. B. Blueprint mode is on. Can I do that then? No. I I'm gonna try this. Oh, look at that. I oh maybe it's because I ran out of belts. Darn it! I can't test this. <laughs> this is so silly. It's like oh dear. <laughs> What have I done now? Uh, okay, let's go and grab all the things. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to grab this and paste this here. Oh my gosh, look at this. I cannot place these. I love it already. This is, well, somehow that one got there. I don't know what that was about, but anyway, it kind of works. That's pretty neat. I like this. So you cannot overwrite your blueprints, which is excellent. Uh, this is, you know, it's so easy to go over things, even with the, the power pulls like we were talking about the other day. Um, this is going to be a very, very handy mod. Again, it's called, uh, I forgot what it's called again. <laughs> it is called There Is My Ghost. So find it on the mod portal. It is there. That's where I found it. Um, so hopefully they can get sorted. Okay, good. Now we need these guys, more of these furnaces. And we probably will have to come back there and get some more, but we definitely need some uh, red inserters too. And I'm going to put in some of these nice uh, bits of iron ore. Okay, and then you can go here. Whoa, right. Okay, so blueprint only mode is serious. Like you can't even place other things. I don't know if I really like that or not. That seems a little bit annoying at best. All right. Okay. So first of all, these go to green chips here. So what I'm going to do is make this one go here instead. Let's get our other things down. Oh, I need to, let's, let's go get some red inserters because I'm sure the mall has some by now. We're going to start shifting our shopping to the mall if we possibly can. Uh, mostly because they've got all the stuff. 43 inserters of those kind, 30 fast inserters already made for us. Let's grab these pipes and we'll get more pipes. Anything else? Nothing else yet. We need to uh, desperately to get that steel flowing along here. Ooh, hello. I don't know if that is closed off or not yet, but let's get it flowing if we have it. Okay. There we go. Now we have the red inserters. Our smelters are much happier now. You can tell because they sort of grin at you when you walk by. The mining productivity will be very good. Okay, so there we go. No more red inserters, really. Okay, well, let's just make some by hand, like a few, just so we can get all of these guys finished and filled out. Um... We need coal. Why are we not getting enough coal? Are we short on coal? Hello. Yes, we are. Uh, not short on electricity, so it is a coal problem. Need to definitely add more of these miners. And take these guys down. Great. All right, now this is going to make for a much happier coal line um, and much happier us, no doubt. Now then, we need to deposit these guys there and then the coal can also go there. Stone, we need a lot of stone, but we need it from different sources. We're going to need it from a stone patch. I really need to get these radars cleaned up too. Do we have radars being made? Let's go look. I think they should be made in the mall, but I forgot where they live. It's kind of like, hmm, aha, here they are, but they're getting no green circuits, which is because we have no red undergroundies, which is a shame beyond all shame. Oh, these have wooden chests. How amusing. How amusing is that? Well then. Hello. Okay, so I have to actually delete that to put this down. That's interesting. 
<clears throat> I don't know what the difference is then with ghost blueprint mode on or off then is. I don't know this. This seems um, interesting. <laughs> and when I use the word interesting, I'm sure you know what it means in this context. All right, radars, get Megan. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> so, geez Louise. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is interesting. Okay, um, we have lots of these guys. Let's go uh, put some stone in for this assembly here. Uh, right. That is for steel, I think. Looks like we're short on undergroundies here. There we go. Then those guys can go that way. Right. Now, we were looking for stone, and I think there's some here. 411k, which is not a lot. Man, I thought it was a bigger deposit than that, but I am mistaken. I thought that this one was tiny, but it is uh, uh, nothing, nothing compared to this big one that I thought was bigger. Um, right. Hmm. This, oh, this is the radar we plonked down. That's right. Okay. Uh huh. Let's get some more mining productivity. We're going to have more lights. That is a good thing. Okay, and I'm going to put all my steel in there. I don't know if that was that wise to put all the steel in there. At least not yet. Okay. Now, the factory is going to be barely functioning until we can actually get some more product from the world, which the world is out there and we haven't actually conquered it just yet. Um, this is interesting. This is not going to work very well. Unless I have some... I Do I have red undergroundies? I have one, one red underground. No more than that. It's like the factory said, no, no, you get one and that's it. Sorry. It's a thing. Okay. We'll take 14. It's fine. Let's see if we can <laughs> do something with this gap here. Let us see. Well then. Okay, this actually works quite well. We can do this and have this one go like that. And that solves a myriad of problems. Right. Do we have a space? We have one space. We could put steel here with very little fuss. Oh, duh. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. I hate fast replace. I absolutely hate fast replace. <laughs> I dislike it so badly. It's like, it it's not useful. It just isn't at all useful. Not when you, you factor in all the mistakes that are made and yeah, it's not, it's just not fun. Not fun, not useful. Okay, so we have steel now. Let us connect that to the mall and get those things flowing along. Uh, and this one, aha, there it is. There is our... Okay, and... Oh, this one needs... Oh, that's the one that has the steel there. That's fine. And then we have one on this end as well. Nope. Trees, don't do this. Don't knock me off my, my thing. It's not good. Okay, and we will put this guy over here. Okay, cool. Do we have steel flowing? Yes, look, it's coming along down the line. Hello, steel girders, iron beams, whatever the heck you are. You're going to be used for stuff now. Your life is going to be much better, you can tell. Right, so next thing is, <laughs> this is going to be interesting for sure. What is this down here? Green circuits, which is not functioning at all. Of course not. Uh, I need to, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're going to change this up a little bit. 
get rid of these undergroundies. And instead, put here a, a belt balancer. Ever since uh, the changes made to the splitters, I really haven't been using that many belt balancers. Oh, I don't have a 4 to 4. I'll just have to do it by remembering it. That's fine, though. Uh, I think it's this way. Yes. It's been a long time since I've built one. Good lord. Um, but yeah. And there we go. Just slightly too long for the space that we had. So better just do it this way. Anyway, but in this situation, I suppose it makes sense because we're not filling everything and some of the things we've actually actively cut off the lines for them. Um, so that's something you always have to take into consideration when you're doing stuff. But see, now we can have the green circuits flow and build some stuff that will happen over here. Okay, so last thing we still need these lovely um stone bricks and wait will that go there no okay stone bricks and stone actually this one goes that way and we'll have one like that and that okay that's going to be our entryway for that we do not have stone brick making yet um i could put it up here potentially how is this going? This is uh, still chugging along. That's very nice. Could get more of this. We could get solar stuff and that could um, power our steam engines, or uh, at least the ones driving the coal to power the steam engines. Wouldn't that be ironic? Fluid handling would be very nice for oil stuff. Okay, so I don't know if we need more of those or not, but uh -huh. Let's see, landfill. How much is are we making of this? Oh my gosh, I forgot to limit this thing. That's not good at all. That is a long way to go for stone. But <laughs> the railroad tracks are being made over here and all the steel is over here as well. So I suppose I could just uh, take a very, very long belt. All right, we'll do it. It's fine. Or I could take two long belts. Uh, how far? E if I take the stone this way, underneath this, I could put the stone smelting, which I'm going to call it, majingy thingy, here. Okay, that would be okay. We could do that. Now then. Uh, oh, hello. I didn't realize we had some untapped copper. What was I thinking? Oi. This is like a heinous thing. It's very, very bad. Right. Now then to properly do things. Let's get stone coming in along here. I honestly don't know. I don't think we'll have enough for two, two lines, but we can look. Fluid wagons. Yeah, let's have those too. Um, let's go and look. We have to look at this, I think. Let's get our, our running shoes on here. Speed modifier 10, please. Yep. Yow. This is, this is out. This is painful right here. This stone deposit. Boy, and half of it has to be filtered as well. That ain't good. That is not good. I'm very tempted to go and put down a... Let's see, do I have any, like, massive power poles? Yes, I do. Let's go make some. We have some radars. How many do we have? Five. It's not a lot. Okay, this guy, here's the radar for this. I want to take these power poles. Just go down here. There's that guy right there. And put down another radar here. And just see if there's more stuff out here. Because I, I think we've kind of gotten to our limit there of stuff. Man. This is very bleak. I don't even... Oh, here... Oh, 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 oh. Hello, copper. We have found you. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, ideally, we want to go in one direction with these... Um, with our, our trains and stuff. Uh, and that is because 
the direction will, uh, if we go one way, then the ore deposits will get richer and richer and richer as we go out there. So I'm thinking, let's go to this radar out here, wherever it is. Was it here? Where the heck was it? Oh, it's here. Okay. And then I'll just take another line of power poles. Oopsies. Okay, that one is not connected. I was going slightly too fast and there's a bit of an ocean in the way. It's kind of convenient. All the stuff happened and things. All right, another radar, boom. And we'll see what's down here as well. Okay, now then we have a copper deposit. Oh my God, he sounds so funny when you run, when our little robot guy is running, yay. Okay. Um, Oh, so I think we decided that this is only enough for like one line of stone. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take out this area here and make this into like, um, maybe like a half a smelter for stone. Cause stone takes two pieces of stone to make a stone brick in any case. Oh, hello. Give us back that thing. And I'm going to turn down the speed real quick because it's um a little too fast to go that way all right so we'll take let's see 32 24 is what we want i believe 24 is that what we want mm, not really So we'll still have to reverse the belt again. Let's go put the this copper in a copper smelting thingy thing. Okay, fluid wagons are done. That is excellent. Uh, we're starting to get into blue research, so gonna have to do stuff fairly soon. That would be nice. Hmm. Okay, let's go pick up some. You know what? We're gonna just turn this up to like speed five gonna go shopping we need more radars which I think are here there they are I've got 50 of them oh I didn't realize I had three that's nice man there's so much to do in this factory it's like almost overwhelming to me honestly it's like wow we have this and this and this and this and this and that to do we do need belts 646 in that box which is kind of nice uh, we have a lot of iron at the moment. We could, uh, we need to probably, well, we can just do these guys. Okay, that's fine. Now then, what to do about the stone? <laughs> still, still on the stone here. Come on, nanobots, please proceed. Excellent. Good, good, good. Get rid of this tree here. We need to get rid of this power pole too. I guess we can just copy and paste this thingy thing. It'll be okay-ish. Um, yeah, put this like here. Okay. I need to slow it down again, okay because it's way too fast to do sort of precision building things. There we go. Okay, and we didn't go nearly, go down nearly as far as I thought I would. So that's okay. So this one can be taken off and this belt reversed. Let's take that up that way, very nice. And of course we'll get the coal after this area here. Oh, I'm out of underground skin. Okay, let's get uh, nanobot range. That would be nice. Undergroundies, thank you. Go on, nanobots. Yo, thank you.
And then this can just be taken out for now. Uh, okay, good. That's that's actually quite good. Not too darn bad. And then we also need to reconnect these radars down here. Don't want to forget that. Now, do I have any miners on me? Definitely need... We have 20. Let's go and buy some at the shops real quick. Miners, miners, miners. At the top. And we have quite a lot of belts. I don't know if it's enough, but it'll be something. Let's go ahead and just fill these guys with stone for now. So they can make us some stone bricks. And then this thing is going to work like this. Like that. Okay, good. Okay, right. Now let us... We need to kind of go below that line there. So let's grab a long section of belt have our nanobots build it and in this way they'll also take out the trees if there's any underneath so it's quite handy oh no 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 that log got me out of position that's probably one of the most annoying things about the game is those like trees and things shove you out of the way when you're running <laughs> But it's okay. I'm not that bothered about it. It's fine. Let's go this way as far as we can. Okay, we are actually almost there. Good, good. Oh dear. Yep. Trees again. The deadly trees. The annoying trees. Well then. Um, geez. This is an interesting mixed deposit, which I think would be better if we could... Uh, if we were using it at the moment, but we're not. That's the most irritating part about this, but it should be okay. Um, let's just take the pure stone for now. And in fact, I may even have to landfill a little bit of this because otherwise it's going to be more painful in the socks. Well, you know what? We're not going to landfill it. We're going to go true to our roots and not landfill things. I don't really like landfill as a mod. I mean, as a as a gameplay thing, I think it's cheaty. Um, but it is also convenient. So, I mean, I guess it's up to what you like and don't like. Because I'm not going to tell anybody how to play. Because I don't like people telling me how to play. <laughs> so, I'm just, you know, I try to do my best. Um... But it is a nice thing, but I kind of like natural shorelines and I think it's more, there's more of a challenge when you sometimes go with other things like that. And having said that, of course, there are many, many different challenges to have in Factorio. And all the people who are commenting to me about biters, yes, I have played a death world. Yes, I still don't find it interesting. I find biters completely boring. Killing stuff just to kill it, it's like, eh, who cares? It disrupts factory building. That's how I look at it. <laughs> okay, so get this moved on this away. Get all these nice miners going. And then in this area, we're going to probably build a mixed line and then have it sorted. But the issue with sorting right now is that at the moment, we have nowhere to put this stuff. And a chest really is not going to hold that much. So we really just need to get the major mining operation of this area completed. And that's going to have happen when we have train stations. So don't worry about this area. It will, it'll happen. It'll come. It'll be okay. Okay. And here and there. Okay, so these guys are mostly connected. We're missing... No, that's not the right space at all, is it? Okay, we need a power pole there. And these guys don't have coverage either.
Okay, so these guys are covered. Okay, nice. It's looking pretty good. Okay. I think these guys are not going to be balanced at all on this side. So I think what we want to do is actually, instead of doing this, we'll take this and go not like that, like this, because there's a lot going to be on the right hand side from, well, yeah, a smidge more on the right hand side. All right, it'll be fine. So we'll take this up like that and get this working as soon as we have power to the structure. And we'll just drag this along. Just go over the top for the moment. Nope, nope. I don't do that many straight power pulls, but every now and again it's nice and it's like, nope, you're going the wrong way thing. All right, let's see if any of this is generating any uh, iron ore. It shouldn't be. Let's just look over every miner and make sure... Okay. So I do not want iron coming into the base and contaminating all the lines. Okay, it looks iron free to me. This is looking pretty darn good. Looking very nice indeed. Actually, what we could do with this is we could do this kind of a thing instead. Uh, so that if it's missing on one side or other, it can go on one side or other. Though that's still not going to work very well, is it? Not really. Well, it'll be fine. It'll it'll work itself out. Uh, it looks like it's slightly more than one belt full. How many miners do we have here? We have, well, we have 26. That should be exactly one belt full. What I could do is a... A balancer and I think this would work yeah I think that's gonna work actually for us instead so it all gets evenly fed there okay nanobot range great we have done things solar energy stack inserters yo just want to make sure we have everything that we need for the next stage of science and production and stuff but otherwise, we have stone flowing. This is great. We're going to get stone bricks. And in the next episode, we will connect those up to them all. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.